What is going on, guys? Today is the day. The ban list has come out today. I think it's been out for about one hour-ish now, maybe two. And uh, I this isn't a reaction video. I've already seen the ban list, so I'm just gonna you know get that out of the water. It's, you know, and I got some big reaction out of me. I've already seen it, but I like making these videos more of a discussion and any ideas that come into my head by going by you know first looks. What do I think could work for the new format? Because those big changes this ban list, and I I just want to put my first thoughts on what's going on in the game right now. So well, I'm just going to go through the card by card that got hit in every single category, whether it be banned, semi-limited, limited, or off the list completely. And then I'm going to talk about each card if I think there's a discussion to be had about the card. So let's start. We're going to go with Forbidden. So for Forbidden, we lost the Orcus Harpoor, Colossus, Ib, Tempest Magician, Azatha, Mirage Stalio, Engage, Electromite, and Brilliant Fusion. For limited, we lost, or we got back, I should say, uh, the Earth True King, Pot of Avarice went to one, Pancratops went to one, Servant of Enemy I went to one, Card of the Mize went to one, Di Diagram went to one, Into the Void went to one, Sekka's Light went to one, and Red Reboot went to one, and Danger Nessie went to one. For semi limited, we got Deep Sea Diva to two, Tour Guide to two, and Mind Control down to two. And then. For our off the list completely, Morphing Jar number two, which I completely forgot was even on there. Tribe Infecting Virus, the Phantom Knight rank, rank Up Magic Spell, Lady Debug went to three, Kagari went to three, Book of Moon went to three, Summer Warning went to three, Soul Drain went to three, Dark Arm Dragon went to three, and Damage Sober went to three. So I'm going to start off by saying, I'm going to talk about the balance card first, but as like previous balance have gone, this has been more hits than I've seen in so many years of playing the game. Like, it's very rare that I see this many changes happen in, like, one shot. Um, I've been playing this game since, like, it's almost pretty much in its inception. So, I mean, this is this is huge in my eyes, at least, of how big of a change that the game's going through right now. But, um, yeah, to start off, we have the Orcus Harpoor. Obviously, Orcus has been very dominant, and... It's been dominant for a good amount of time, not as long as the other decks, but it's definitely been, you know, top tier for since Dingrus who came out, and I think it's definitely time it needs to have some heavy checks on the deck. So I think Harpoor is, you know, these are some heavy hits, but they need these do these decks are they're too too strong. So I think Harpoor band is justified. I think they want to take the power level of the top tier decks and just cut them all down. Like the it's good to have a diverse format, in my opinion. Because it makes the game, you know, more fun, more diverse. But when the same decks have of that diverse format have been around for so long, that's when it gets boring. And you know, just by going by the ban list, you know, by looking at this, you can tell like, wow, these have been like good for way too long. Like engage, Thunder Dragon Colossus, Harpoor, you know, stuff like that. Uh, Miss Mirage Dalio, like those are all heavy hits to get banned. And that's literally just because they want to completely change the meta they don't want to see I, in my eyes the way i see this they don't want those decks to be the new top contenders they want they finally want to take all that down a notch so yeah like i said harpoor or ban um i i still think that even with harpoor or ban there's probably still some work of stuff like that deck is unbelievably good it's i wouldn't be doubt i wouldn't doubt it if there was more orcas to come in my opinion um but then you know what, what do I know? Uh, Colossus getting banned. That's that's a fucking axe. There's there's no coming back from that one. You're not gonna see Thunder getting played. Um, Ib the Ward Chalice Justice here. Uh, that just takes out any combo that with you know Draco Net or any level five synchro like make full combo board. Like that's that's all gone. They didn't want anything to deal with that anymore. Tempest Magician. You know FTKs. I keep seeing these videos online of like Tempest Magician FTK in, like different ways. So I guess that's it's good that it's gone. You know, it's just, it was just it wasn't used for real Yu-Gi-Oh. It was used for de degenerate Yu-Gi-Oh. In my eyes, if you're only being used for degenerate Yu-Gi-Oh, why are you why are you in the game? You shouldn't be there. So I'm happy that's gone. Uh, Outer Entity as a thought, it, it was only used for you know same thing degeneracy. Nobody like I thought it was cool the way it was being used. You know, in the Luna Light deck, I thought that was very innovative, very cool way to play it. But it was too good at and it's time and since they you know since they brought back the quick play spell they have to get rid of as thought so that you don't have to worry about getting as thought on your turn because that's a huge problem um mirage dalio <clears throat> mirage dalio from uh sour man great uh 
completely gone. I still can't believe that hit. That was like the last thing I would have guessed, to be honest. But, you know, here it is. Um, I still think Sal Mangrid's playable. I think they have to make some main deck changes to make the same boards that they were going for. Because you have to remember, you can't get Jaguar out of the deck now with Stalio. So you probably want to either, you know, discard it off of Mining or send it off of Gazelle or start your combo with Summon Jaguar. But even then, it's like pretty mediocre, I'd say. Like, you can still end on, like, Wolf, Jaguar, Trap, like, pretty consistently, I'd say. But you're just not, not going to have the Stalio, which hurts. Stalio is so weird, because it was also, like, the only out on their turn they can use for monsters without going under the restriction of fires. So there's, like, a lot of stuff. Oh, my God, it's such a weird hit. I, th I don't think Zombie Great's dead. I think it's still going to be a really good control deck and can grind out other decks now that I'm thinking about it more and more. I don't think it's going to be going anywhere. Um, I think it's going to be good maybe tier two, but, you know, like I said, this, I'm not saying this. This is just my, you know, ideas in my head. Uh, engage. Engage. Engage is finally fucking gone. I'm so tired of playing against the deck and they go engage, draw with drones, Kagari, engage, draw. He's just so fucking annoying. And it's finally gone. I cannot be happier to see this card gone. The amount of utility, the amount of, like, one card plus threes that this card got was just stupid. And it's finally gone. I cannot be happier. Sky Striker's dead. I don't care what anyone says. Nobody's playing that without Engage. That's the, that's over. And you got Heavy Motifo's Electromite is banned. I am really surprised about this one because... Um, the new rule changes uh, to Master Rule 4, and uh, it's weird. I didn't think it would get banned because the rule changes don't make Pendulums any better. It makes them the same. You know, they still have to use the Wink Arrows to do all their plays, but, you know, they can do a little bit more cheeky stuff with, like, the Absolute Drag, the Odd Eye stuff, you know. Um, but, like, still, though, I don't think it was going to be, like, too, too ridiculous, but, you know, maybe I could be wrong. I know they wanted to bring some other Pendulum stuff to the table, but I mean, like, I was Electromite really, really strong? Absolutely. I think that card was, like, it's what made Pendulum Pendulum. So I think the Pendulum players, you know, Triff is going to have to make 50 more videos of how, uh, what to do with Pendulums now after Electromite gets hit. I'm sure he's going to figure it out. Triff's, you know, he's the Pen God, so he'll, he'll do something. I know some other Pendulum friends who are going to figure something out with Pendulums, so I'm sure there'll be more to come. And Brilliant Fusion got banned. Um, this one surprised me, actually. I did not expect Brilliant Fusion to go from demand to one demand. It hasn't been seeing any play. It hasn't been any talked about seeing play. But I, I heard that there was some stupid combo that could still do the Gen Knight FTK. Um, so maybe that's what they were anticipating, and they just want to get that out of the way. It could have been, uh, before the Master Rule hits. They don't want, you know, the Predator Plant. Maybe that was too strong. Like, I don't, I'm not... 100% positive on this one, to be honest. But, uh, you know, it is a really good card. Obviously, you get Seraphna, and then you get two normal summons for for free, essentially. And you get a free monster, so... Like, it's not like Building Fusion was a bad card. It was just it was consistent, consistency issues, because you had to play the Garnet. So, I mean, I don't know. It's it's fine, I guess. And I'm, I'm not going to miss it, personally. I, I had no desire to play that card. I think I played it once, and I never liked it, because you had to play Bricks. But, hey, you know, it's gone. So, I think it was just a card that... Maybe it was just hit for the FT case. Who knows? Uh, so that's all for the Forbidden. Uh, we're going to go into the Limited. Um, so to start off, we have the Earth True King. Uh, this was actually really surprising to me. Um, I was not expecting it. But it's here, and I think they're just trying to support the Dinosaur that just got announced before. Uh, that card is ridiculous. And Lithogasm is, you know, it's a really, really good card, but... When you look at the other cards that got hit, um, I think that it makes it less scary because you're going to play one with orgasm and then one diagram and you get one terraforming and you can, if you're playing Lost World, you can play one set rotation. So it's kind of like you're playing three diagrams still, but it's just like way, way worse. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's still good. Uh, I think Dinosaur's going to have a place in the meta when they get all their cards. So uh, yeah, I'd be on the lookout for that. I think it's just a really good card still. Um, then we have Pot of Avarice. Uh, I have missed this card for a very long time. As I said, I've been playing this game for a super long time, and I remember when Pot of Avarice was legal, and, you know, it's heyday back now. You know, there was the pile of good cards format, you could triple wildfire with, you know, Tengu Plant, and even before that, there was, there was played another stuff. 
but this car was super fun. Um, it will degenerate at times because, you know, if you do pot of Avarice and you can put back your one fires, but they can't back their one fires and refuel, um, it will degenerate. But, you know, it's I think it's a cool card. Uh, I'm happy to have it back. I don't think it's overpowered right now compared to the rest of the cards. Uh, Pragotops going the one. Um, actually, really surprising. I thought Pragotops was quite the fair card because it was one of those things that everybody can play at three. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about, well, you really don't have to worry about, like, your opponent drawing it, you're not drawing it, because you can just play three of it, too. Um, it countered, you know, some back row decks, some floodgate decks, so I thought that was, like, a nice, like, balance to that. But, uh, hey, it's going the one. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yay for my Draco deck, but, you know, as you can see later on the list, that the Draco deck's not going to have a good time. Um, Servant of Endymion. Uh, yeah, this card was ridiculous <laughs> in the Pendulum deck. I'm sorry. Like Every time I saw that card resolve, I just saw like the nuttiest plays. And, you know, like I said, I have a lot of friends who play Pendulum, and they would show me all these crazy combos. And, like, Servant was always ridiculous. And I'm kind of... I kind of get why this is not one. I mean, it's still searchable about, like, a million different cards in Pendulum, because it's Pendulum. But, you know, you have to play cards to get the... You have to play cards or spell cards to get the Servant, and then you have to play more spell cards to trigger the Servant. So it kind of makes it worse. So I kind of get the hit, like... They can still get to it, but just way harder to get to it now. So, I mean, you know, I'm not a Pendulum player, but I'm, I know this sucks for the Pendulum players, but like I said, they usually can figure something out with Pendulum because there's so many ways you can go about it. Um, and we're going to get to my two uh, <laughs> really depressing ones. Uh, Card of the Mize went to one. <sighs> yeah, that hurt. That hurt seeing. I was really surprised. My brother told me that Card of the Mize and that Draco got hit. And I'm like, what are you talking about? There's no way. Like, the deck's not been doing that good. And then here we are. The mines is at one. And diagrams at one. I'll put them together. Um, I guess enough people <laughs> really hate Draco or Konami had to do something about it. Or maybe they had to do it because Pranker Tops and Red Reboot were also going to one. And they needed some kind of balance from the back row decks. And they said that was the best back row deck. So they chopped that down. I gotta be my guess. I don't know. But yeah, either, you know, regardless, Card of the Mines going to one. Um, it was a stupid good card, I can't lie, you know, you rip a card of the mines with no hand and you're you literally better than Pot of Greed. And so that's you know, it's absolutely ridiculous with what it can do. I don't think I had to explain to you how good card of the mines is. It's it's an insane card. Um and then Dragonic Diagram, uh going the one as well. Uh I think that justifies the true the Earth True King coming back to one. Um because if Diagram is still at three and then Lithogasm came back, I think that'd be a problem because you know, you could just diagram pop baby for Lithogasm. You get another baby off the, the first baby. Then you switch the guys in the pop two more and get two real guys. It would just combo like way, way, way too hard. So I think that that was like a good balance, a decent balance for the the dinosaur deck. So I'm kind of happy that they did it like that, where it's one and one rather than like three one or one three or something like that. But uh, yeah, like I said, for Draco, that sucks for Diagram. I'm really sad about that because that's like the best card in the deck. Um, and. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to play the deck anymore, but I'll see if I can figure something out with it. But I'm not the most optimal. There's other decks I want to look into personally, other than Draco. So I mean, I know some people ask me for some some uh, some updated profiles, but I wanted to wait until you know Banlist and New Meta came, and this is why. Because what would be the point of me maybe posting updated list if this was going to happen? So you know, you never know with Konami, and that's what I'm talking about. So you know, I'm not the happiest, but we'll make do. I'm still going to enjoy the game for what it is. Um, so we'll go into the Void. Um, it's probably just got the Upstart Goblin treatment. Um, it, it, people don't like playing. It, it's only good in combo decks, like the generic combo decks. Um, then abuse it being a spell card and making your deck 37 cards rather than, you know, uh, there are 40 cards. So, you know, you get the consistency. It's just, you know, it's just generically, like, really, really good mathematically. And there's not, the downside isn't, like, much of a downside. Like, it is a downside still, but, um, it kind of has, like, the card of the mind's downside, but... You just can special summon still, so you just combo off. It doesn't really matter. Um, Seconds Light, I was really surprised about this one. Um, I actually could not think of a reason why this got hit. Um, I guess they're worried about Burning Abyss. That was literally the only thing I could think of in my head to make this even justifiable. Um, so, I mean, I'm not going to play Seconds Light BA when I get the chance to play BA again, but uh, yeah, it's it's a hit. <laughs> so, you know, we got to play under it. And I didn't think the, the card's super good, but the restriction on it is probably the most heavy restriction in the game of Yu Gi Oh! So, you know, it's that one. That's enough of that. And Red Reboot going to one. I am so happy this card is that one. I hated this card since it even got announced. I felt this card was degenerate as all could be. You put it in, you're playing a combo deck, and it's literally, you see it. 
and it's over. The game's over. There's no, there's no, like, you, you can't do anything unless you have some judgment or like you sided in the counter side wire tap to like beat the red reboot. Like, that's so stupid. Like, there shouldn't be a card that's like, like, Pegatops is a fair side deck card. This is where I put them at different levels. Like, like I said, Pegatops is good against the good back row decks. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's good, but it's not like a blowout. Then there's cards like Red Reboot, where it's you're playing a combo deck and you draw it plus combo. It's a blowout every time. You're, there's not even a chance they could play. So I'm super happy the card went to one. Um, it's probably still going to get played at one, um, but you know, you know, just whatever. I'm just happy it's not consistent anymore. Maybe people won't play it anymore. Who knows? Um, Danger Nessie. Honestly, I can't really figure out why this got hit either. Um, I guess they were just scared of the danger still. Hell do I know? But Allo Dangers brought a super RNG mechanic to the to the game. I'm not really like crazy about RNG. I mean it's a card game, so it's always gonna be RNG, but like the way their effects work is like just adds like a whole new dimension of RNG to it. So I'm gonna um, I'm pretty happy about it. I never played any danger decks really except for BA for like a hot minute. So I'm kinda happy that it's at one. Well, it doesn't really affect anything, I don't think. I, don't, I haven't seen any danger decks come up, except for the Thunder deck, but who's going to play Thunder right now, right? So, I mean, yeah. Uh, and then we're, let's go for the Limited, and we're going to go on to the Semi-Limited. Deep Sea Diva going to two. That's kind of neat. Uh, I know they have a new archetype coming out, so they're probably just preemptively getting everyone ready for that. Makes sense. Um, it's not going to do anything right now. You know, Mermel, you know, I guess they could like, finagle something, but I highly doubt it. Um, so that's cool. I guess they're prepping for new cards for whatever it's worth. So good for you, Konami. Um, tour guide going to two. I am excited for that because you know I'm always BA player at heart, and tour guide going to two is exciting. Um, it gets hit by every hand trap in the game, but you know it's tour guide. You gotta love it. It's one of my favorite cards. So what, what can I say? Uh, I'm happy about it. <laughs> this is like other decks I can use it too. I know Unchained can play it. Burning Abyss can play it. Stuff like that. But there's definitely more you can do with it now, make it more consistent. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, mind control going to two. Um, yeah, mind control going to two. Uh, really, really strong going second. Maybe a little too strong going second at times. I've had where one mind control can break an entire board. Like if they go a bunch of guys and they can Appaloosa, you can mind control the Appaloosa, and they can just negate all the other negates with the Appaloosa. Sometimes like it's a little. You can do some you know cheeky things like that. But I know in the Mech Knight deck, you can go, like, set, special Mech Knight, then, then Mind Control, take their guy. Like, that's always a good going second play. Like, there's just so many aspects to Mind Control. I feel like it's just that good that it it might even go to one later because it's just that strong against any, you know, not amazing board-making uh, deck, but it's still, you know, super strong for going second anyway. So I'm kind of happy it's at two. Um, I could see this going lower eventually. But, you know, for now, you know, it's not being overly played. It's not, like, running a meta. Um... But yeah, it's, that's fine, I suppose. And then we have this giant list of set of, <laughs> of unlimiteds now that came off the list. Uh, starting off with Morphing Jar number two. I'm not even going to talk about this. This is There's cards on here that just should have been off the list before, and they just are finally off. Um, like Morphing Jar number two, there's not even a discussion there. It's off the list. whoop de doo no one cares. Uh, Tribe Infecting Virus, that is way overdue from coming off the list. It's finally off, thank God. Um, so, you know, good job, Tribe. You did it. It only took 10 years or something from when it could have come off the list. Uh, Phantom Knight's Rank of Magic launch. The Quick Boy spell, as a thought, got banned. There's no reason for that to be banned anymore. So they just did the old switch. And I'd rather have the Rank of Magic than as a thought, because as a thought can be degenerate at times, and the Rank of Magic's not really that degenerate. So whatever, I'm not happy. And Lady Demo going to three. This is why I think Salmangrate is not dead. Because even though Circle is at 1, they gave it back some consistency, but you lose um, some combo potential. So it's really weird of how you want to, you know, finagle your combos. Um, I think that the deck might adapt by playing more of the trap cards, because you cannot dump um, the trap anymore with um, Gazelle. You want to draw the trap now, and you want to dump Jaguar, and then you wink the Bailwinx and your Gazelle into Wolf, and then you are going to use Jaguar to then get back Gazelle under the Wolf, and then you already have the trap in hand. So I think you're just going to play more copies of the trap cards to make up for the loss of um, Mirage Delio. You, you can't get the Jaguar, so you need, you need better ways to do it. And I think that's going to be the 
stable way in my eyes. But you know, I could be wrong. Like debug's really it's always been a risky card. It's hit by any hand trap and their their turn could just end. So I mean like it's like high risk higher like it's not even high reward too, which sucks. It's just like more consistency and like more normal summons in the deck that you're already playing a lot in. So you know take it for a grain of salt for what it is. Um Kagari going to three. Engage got banned. So why can't Kagari go to three? So here it is at three. That's fine by me. I don't care anymore. It's not like Widowmaker's not at one anymore. It's not like uh, multi rolls not at one anymore. And now Engage is banned. It's the three best ones. So Kagari can come back to three. I don't care. That's not going to do anything relevant. Um, cool. Hornet drones can still be like, you know, one card wing two, but who cares? That, that, that wasn't the part that people complained about. about Sky Striker, they complained about Engage it getting too many cards for advantage wise. So, yeah, um, Happy Congrats back in three. And Book of Moon, along with Tribe, those two go hand in hand on the. They, why are they even on this list anymore for so long? And they're finally back, you know, same thing, like 10 plus years, man. Like, it's, it's over. Book of Moon, I, I'm actually excited to play Book of Moon. Um, I'm, there's, there's a funny part of me that wants. People to play Burning Abyss again, and then you can just side three Book of Moon. That sounds so funny. I want to do it so bad, but we'll see where the meta goes. I don't even know what the meta is going to look like. This is going to be a huge shift. Whatever the first event is, it's going to be super popular, super exciting. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a big, big meta change. Uh, Sour Morning coming up. Uh, back to three. I don't get why I couldn't go back to three when Sam Judgment came back to three. I guess they're worried about the trap decks, but Red Reboot was still at three, so why are they worried about the trap decks? So yeah, I'm excited to see Sam Warning back to three. Just another trap card, that's all. Like, you're not going to play every Sam Judgment. You're not going to play three Warning, three Judgment, three Strike. You'll just kill yourself. Maybe you, like, <laughs> if you want to make some cheeky counter for, counter for your deck, but, like, you're going to die. <laughs> you have to have our, our, uh, not Artemis. The, the Artemis draws, but you need the, the Pendulum one that, you know, pay life points, or else you're just going to kill yourself. Uh, Soul Drain. Soul Drain is good side deck card. Counters a lot of the good cards, such as Orcus. Um, it helps back, it helps back row decks a lot. And yeah, uh, I was really confused. I, remember, I think I remember this going to one, and I didn't really understand why it went to one. Like, it wasn't as good as Skill Drain, but it still went to one, so it threw me off. But regardless, I'm happy it's back to three. I don't think there's a reason why it should have been at one anymore. So, welcome back, Soul Drain. Uh, Dark Home Track and going to three. I haven't seen this at three in so long. This has been years. Like, what, like 2008, I think, the last time? Or something like that. Or nine. My brother fucking played this deck with three dead. And God, it was scary. I couldn't stand it. I, I, you know, I was a kid. I, could, I wasn't before to go three Dark Home Dragons, but you know, seeing everyone else play it, it's crazy. Plus Crush Card Virus, too, but, you know, that's a whole other thing. But, you know, that, that, that Dark Home Dragon... To what it was back then, to what it is now, you really have to take in consideration of why it was on the ban list for so long. This isn't a quick effect Dark Arm Dragon. This isn't anything special. You just drop it, and then, like, it's it's almost like just good against back row. Like, but even then, Pancras Office is better. So, like, what's the point? Like, it doesn't do anything. It's still Dark Arm Dragon. Like, getting three darks in the grave isn't as easy as it was in a slow game. Now it's a fast game, and you can just dump darks in your grave like it's no tomorrow. So why, like, why is it still, why was it still at two, or... Anything it shouldn't be restricted at all. I'm happy it's finally back at three. Uh, there's probably some like meme decks you can make with it just to, for the sake of playing three Dark Arm Dragon again. But it's, I'm happy to see it back. And lastly, out of all of the cards on the list, we have a four mage damage juggler. Um, this card is coming probably off the list to support these Shadals. Um, I'm not complaining about that. I love the Shadal deck. I'm going to play the Shadal deck most likely. Um, so I'm excited to play it with three damage juggler, you know, and all the clown engine plus the shadow cards. It's gonna be really, really fun. Um, I think that's gonna be a big heavy hitter in the new meta when it comes out in believe, next month, I believe February comes out. Um, I'm definitely picking up a play set of that, 100%. I have some other decks I'm going to try that I've been wanting to try, but I know they could not keep up with the current meta as it was. So I'm going to try them now, and I'm going to try to make videos on me testing out these decks and seeing. How good they work um so yeah that is the full ban list those are my thoughts about looking at every single individual card um for the meta itself like i said uh, while going through it you really don't know the meta like i can say like oh i think that like i said orcus i think it could still be good yeah but like is it gonna run the meta like it used to i who knows um style man great like i said it's still probably good but is it as good probably like 
you know, it's not going to be as good, obviously. But, like, it could still beat, like, some other decks, though. Like, but now, you have to look at it as, like, Sam and Great can't out a Dingrisu. Like, they can't. There's no way. They have to, like, make some, what, crappy, like, Unicorn play or, like, make some bad Heat Leo play and, like, just keep beating over it. Like, that's so terrible. So there's no, like, good way to clear it unless you play the... They probably have to adapt to play the rank 4, I think it is. That nukes, that banishes their whole board. That'd be the only thing I can think of that can out a Dingrisu. So, like, just right there. You know, it's one of those things you look at it, you're like, oh, cool, Sam Angry doesn't have to worry about Colossus anymore. They can just, you know, Colossus... You know, it protect itself from battle, so you can just bounce it with Stalio, but now it's like they can't even do that anymore. So I mean, it's going to struggle, but I don't think it's going to be as good. You know, Thunder Dragon, I think, is going. Orcus, I think, it's going to be good. Samaria is going to be fine. D6, Sky Strikers wiped off the face of the math. Uh, Pendulum players, they are going to figure something out. Uh, I think that's everything for the current meta. I think Draco is going to struggle very much. That's going to be a rough path to follow. Dinosaur is going to be popular, especially Shadal Dinosaur. They're going to have no problems going into the next meta because they are just full of cards. They got, they have like minimal hits. So it's going to be very easy to move forward for that deck. So if I have to make a guess of what's going to be the next like best cards, it's probably going to be the sh something with Shadal. And I think Dinosaur might be the way to go about it. But yeah. That's my my thoughts on everything for this huge, huge ban list update. And I am super excited to start playing it on Monday. And I can't wait to not go to Locals that week. And I might even show, if I get the cards in the mail, I might make a deck and go to Locals and show you guys what I played and how I did to at least get some kind of new idea for the new meta. If you are interested to see that, please let me know in the comments. I would like to know. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of videos I want to make on this channel. But yeah. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed some of my thoughts at the pick up my brain. Um, obviously, I could be wrong. I'm not like, I'm not a genius by any means. I've been infinitely wrong before. So, but I am super excited for a new meta and I hope you guys are too. And I hope you guys are ready to play. See you later.